It's so still and calm out here today. This is high drawing, a little bit left of the hole. He's going to get some slope help there, not too bad. Free flowing swing hits it a mile. Good arm hang, isn't it, with the putter? No, you're right, Karen. His arms looked really soft there, hanging out of his shoulders. No tension whatsoever. Right, and I like that. Just a little bump forward press and then go. There wasn't a lot of standing over it. I'll go. They're working hard on that because he sees the talent this big guy has. When you can putt like him and you've got that kind of length, you know, that was what happened to Dustin. The, you know, the Harmons just finally talked Dustin into going to work on those wedges. And I would probably think uh, one of the toughest greens to putt as well. Good stroke there, good two putt for Jason. <laughs> Stays 11 under in Coke Rack. This fairway kicks quite heavily down to the right. I think Jason looking at a little smooth draw. Keep it in this fairway nicely. Yeah, he's able to cut that dog leg off down mm. that right side, and that is ideal. Well, he's going to walk away with the bogey, and he didn't do a whole lot wrong. He drove it in the fairway. Great drive. His second shot was headed pretty much right at it with a high draw, and that tree batted his ball down. Just don't want to go past the hole. Yeah. That yeah, didn't. Tim below the hole, very nice shot. Third round of the CJ Cup. A little right to left. These guys like to see just a little break in these putts. Nobody likes to try to straight putt. Boom, oh, right in the middle. Boy, he's stroking the ball really well. Crack 18 T. Been a long wait for him. But he's pretty limber. No problem here. See that willow up ahead down there by the lake. You want to just, just left of that somewhere. That's exactly what he did. And with his length, he's going to catch that down slope get the added 20 yards rollout, so he's going to have a short iron second shot. Uh, uh, see players have used this for years, just like a putting stroke. You're trying to hit halfway up on the ball, and it's still a little bit unpredictable how it's going to come out of there. I think this is about the only chance you have, because you definitely couldn't get a putter on it. Still raced it by. Do. You know, maybe a come from behind win will be his first win. That's a pretty big birdie putt right there, don't you I, think, Kurt? Every shot can matter. I mean, it, it really can because Henley has the experience of winning. Big Jason Kokrak, third at the par five, seventh. Went for it, two, came up just short, but great touch from some very heavy rough. And Kokrak would make that for birdie. At the par three, eighth for a two. Again, this guy plays. I probably played here 20 to 25. And Coke Rack has this for par. He has never won on tour in mean, his 10th season. The roll right there. Afraid to lay back to give himself a good number. It shows me that he's confident with Rabbit. his, with a longer shot Rabbit. into the green, although That's a good that line. was a nine on. <laughs> yeah, the ball really goes here. We're at 2,000 feet of elevation. The low 90 temperatures, low 90s. Before this week, most course knowledge of anyone. Here he is at the 10th. Another great putt. Which I'm always a big fan of because I always feel like you get more spin when the grass is growing with you, just from the way it's been mowed. 
know, safe play by not getting it all the way to the flat. He had to play that out to the wider part of the green. And then at the drivable 11th, he laid up, hit a wedge to here. Boy, look at this, just dripping right in the middle. Too hard to, to top what your opponent's doing. It can really throw you off. He's playing well, he just needs to trust himself. On top of him, no. Good effort. Mm -hmm. Really good effort. What a game these guys are putting together. It'd be interesting to see if that momentum that they both have just carries them right to the finish. Starting left of the hole, high enough, drifting a little bit right. Okay. Pretty smart play there with the penalty area on the right. Didn't have any trouble getting it to the hole once it gets over to that ridge. I think slippery is an understatement. Stop. Touch has been oh, just so good. This that is That's phenomenal. And he knows these greens. Mm. I mean, he looks comfortable. You know, he, he's never won on the PGA Tour, but he looks very comfortable. We'll see. Thank you. And a solid player, 53rd ranked player in the world. I, I thought it was going to expect up. Has a good feel for the sand here. Oh, any good? Really good. Mm -hmm. Advantage, Jason Kokrak. No hesitation, right in the middle. Big man's playing with some confidence. He grinds out a five at the tough 16th. Definitely a challenge. This high drawing, starting on the left edge of the bunker, trying to move a bit more towards the hole. Oh, great shot. Very smart play into the thicker part of the green. A good chance for birdie from right there. That's a very makeable putt. Okay, one shot lead, looking for his first win on the PGA Tour 18, a risk reward par five. This is going to be fun to watch. It is. Swing there, buddy. Good. Uh, Thanks. Most I would say right over it, drawing nicely. Man, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Most important tee shot of his career right there. Flew it on the downhill. That is going to end up down mm. almost in the flat. That could be just a pitching wedge for his next shot. Just a little bit right of the flag. Just what he was trying to do. Mm -hmm. Boy, because of that drive, he's got pitching wedge in there. He's able to do what he did right there. Great, Great day. Work. Great day. And that may very well be good enough. It should be. 64 final round to get to 20 under should be good enough for his first PGA Tour win. Certainly is, Rich. Three back at the beginning of this final round. Jason, what was the game plan and your emotions like to battle back to finally break through and become a PGA Tour champion? Game plan was simple. Hit fairways. Um, you know, my caddy, D-Rob, was right on point with the reads all day, all week. And, um, you know, I'll just give myself more opportunities than I did the last couple days. And, you know, they were out there, and I made some nice putts on the front nine, and, uh, you know, a couple par saves here and there, but um, I couldn't be couldn't be happier. Speaking of putting, you've made over 400 feet of putts this week. How would you characterize your work on the green the last four days? Well, I would characterize it more so uh, D-Rob's work. I mean, he reads them pretty pretty dang good, and I, I did uh, I did a good job of hitting the, hitting the spots where we were trying to putt it to. So uh, very happy with what, uh, how I've been putting and uh, kind of, paying off with all the work I've been putting in. Why do you think this was the week for you to finally break through and win out here? Um, I, I want to say it's uh, you know a little bit of uh, kind of an MGM uh, ambassador crew. Been here in Vegas. I've got an aunt and uncle that live here. Uh, my dad uh, lived out here for a little while. So um, you know it kind of feels like home. So and I've played this golf course enough. I should know it by now. Jason, well done. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you.